Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create variables using the ver keyword. And this is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to declare variables. You use the var keyword to declare function or global scope variables with the optional initialization. With jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course, web ID can be used for the tutorial. It also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web application. Jav Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. So I do have a glossary here for you. I explain what a scope is. So what a scope is is basically the region of code where the variable is accessible. So clearly a global scope means it's available everywhere. A block scope means it's only um, available in that scope. So a block scope would be an example would be an if or a loop statement. That's that's a block. A functional scope is obviously inside a function. It won't be accessible outside. Initialization is simply meaning that when you declare the variable, you also assign a value to it. That's all that means. And redeclaration. Redec what that means is that if you declare a variable, you're able to declare it again using the same variable name. So in this particular example, we're using the var. So just to let you know, a var has global scope, meaning that when you declare it, it will be used every year. That will, I'll show you that in the tutorial today when we actually start coding. And it also has, uh, obviously, it doesn't have a block scope because it can be used everywhere. You can redeclare it. Uh, you can initialize it if you prefer. That's optional. Uh, uh, so one of the things you have to be careful with is the way JavaScript works is a function could actually have uh, like, like uh, nested functions. So although that you can consider that a globe because that could be your entire application, just be a function with uh, sub functions inside it. It's also, you can also have it blocked only in, in that function, the var keyword. So just be aware of that because some of the things you find on the internet, they'll say, oh yeah, it's global, but that's not quite true. It can be declared inside a function, only used inside a function. But uh, if it's just a block, like a new statement, that can be used everywhere. There's a little confusion. I used to got confused too, but just <laughs> make sure you don't confuse you. As you can see here, if you want to see the codes, code snippet we're going to use today, you can just expand this and you can copy paste it using your favorite web, uh, IDE and web browser, or you can just use the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript web IDE. As you can see here, this is the code here, a uh, screenshot of the code, and this is the output uh, down here. And this is the video you're watching right now. So we're going to switch over now to the jumboshop.com um, learning JavaScript course web IDE and to start. So here we are. I'm going to clear. So we have everything is empty. So what I'll do is, remember you can always copy and paste. So I'll just show that to you here. Now let's begin. So the first example is we're going to do the global scope. So var num1, see, then I can assign it. Then just to output, I will use the console log. So it shows up in the output area. Now, if you want it to be accessible outside a block, I'll use an if statement. I'll just make it true, so it means it, which means it will always run. So, uh, just to show you that the global scope does work, I'll. I'll put that one first, then I'll declare num2 equals 2. Now, outside, see I'm outside the scope, the, the block scope, line 7 to 10. I can output num2 just to show you that it's not restricted to a block. That's the v if you declare it with var. Now I'm going to redeclare 
and reassign reassign variable so so I'll number one I'll make this equal to 11 and I'll make num2 equals 22 so as sure as you can see here this is one of the problems with using the var keyword because you can easily mess up your code if you if you use the same variable name because you might not want the variable to change uh, or the value to change so here I'm going to show you a block block could be uh, this is just going to mimic maybe a function for example as you uh, uh, so num3 if you notice num3 hasn't been uh, declared anywhere or assigned I'm actually assigning it below so this is what hoisting means it means that it will be hoisted ab uh, above uh, above where it's used even though it's declared later so we're uh, now I'll compile this so you can see 1 1 2 11 12 oops and this part here oh I forgot I forgot one very important thing that was my fault I forgot to output it yeah you see 3 is down here now it's being output uh, if you want to find the article it's on jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen var hyphen variable hyphen decoration and as you see uh, this output will change uh, this is a screenshot of the output. This is the uh, video said. If you want to learn JavaScript at your own pace in a web browser, you can find uh, visit ojumboshop.com and jab, uh, sign up for the learning JavaScript course. It comes with everything. It comes with a web ID as you saw in the tutorial. Uh, JavaScript already included your web browser, so you don't need anything else. I'm also giving you a 20% off coupon school, which you can use until the end of 2024. Uh, just remember that that uh, promo code, uh, even if you sign up on December the 31st, you still have uh, full access to the course. It doesn't mean that on on <laughs> if you it doesn't mean that uh, you know on January 2, 2025, you know the course is no longer available. You know that's not what it means. And if you just prefer the ebook version, which doesn't come with a web IDE or a JavaScript, just comes with the code snippets and the lesson, uh, you can, the course material, you can find that on Amazon. You just search for Edward Ojambo. Now, if you want to, the links are always, always in the description, but you can also find them this article here under references, the learning JavaScript course on ojamboshop.com. The learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon, and if you want one on one personalized tutorials, custom uh, websites, or help with applications, web, mobile, or desktop, you visit ojumboservices.com. Uh, before I finish, I want to let you know that JavaScript is open source. It follows the MScript standard, it's licensed under W3C software license. It allows commercial use, modification, distribution, and allows making it proprietary. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more frequent content or if you have any requests just let me know and I'll be happy to create a, a specific tutorial that uh, you requested within within a week or so thank you